Aston Murray Gold, he just come off of his set from Birmingham Auto Institute. How are you doing? Yeah, really good. How are you guys doing? Good? Yeah, yeah, really good. Good stuff. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, it's good. It was good. It was an energetic crowd tonight, wasn't it? Very, very. I think it's um every time in Birmingham it's just it's just loud. Yeah. You know I mean? It's just loud. It's like you you can imagine I've got a mic in my hand and I'm thinking to myself, I had spent half the show I think putting the mic to my chest, just so because I've got in ears in. You can just hear the screaming's actually coming through the mic into my ears, and that's obviously supposed to stop the oh, wow. screaming. Yeah, so it's yeah. a bit, yeah, it's a bit crazy. So you're yeah. a bit like, but I think the screaming will be haunting me for, for days off. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard so much in my life. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, it was, it was amazing. You, how I'm quite interested to know, like how how you sort of, um, you know, obviously you've 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 toured with JLS, <laughs> yep. and, and now you're sort of going out on your own as a solo artist. How does that like? Do you do you find it more intimidating? Do you enjoy being on your own out there on stage? <laughs> Um, sure, there's obviously a lot more freedom because yeah. as you can imagine if you're in unison with three other people yeah. you have to make sure everything like obviously you can be free and enjoy it and whatever but you just need to make sure you're doing exactly the same thing yeah. as the three people that are on your left or if they're on your right or if they're two in front you know whatever it may be you yeah. need to be dead on yeah. whereas obviously solo life is a bit like okay yeah the show's structured and we've gone through choreography and whatever but it's a bit like I can jump out of it if there's a vocal section and I need to do whatever, leave the dancers to it. And there's, there's kind of no, no rules in that way. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So as long as I kind of learn everything, I can then just kind of go, right, I can, I can chop that bit out. And can, yeah. So it's, um, yeah, it's different. It's different. Do you know yeah. what I mean? They're both are just as fun as each other, but it's, um, yeah, it's a very, very different world. Yeah. Mm. And um, so you're currently, we're joining you on in the middle of your, pre uh, your Precious tour. Yes. Um, so you played Manchester last night. Yep. Um, how did the crowd in Birmingham, you, you say, they, would, do you reckon Birmingham managed to pit Manchester then? I mean, apparently, on? from the sound beater, they were allowed at Birmingham. Oh, really? Tonight, yeah. Oh, wow. So obviously they can gauge it from that. But then obviously it depends on the size of the crowd, the people, yeah. the venue. So, um, but like I said, every time I am in Birmingham, it's always... Always, it's always been loud. Do you yeah. know what I mean? It's always just been loud. And it's always been an energetic crowd. Always yeah. been, always been a loving crowd, which has been nice. Do you know what I mean? Very yeah. accepting and, and uh, yeah, just up for a good time, yeah. which is nice. You know? Yeah. And I was interested. You did. I, I really like the, 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 the song choices today. Obviously, mm -hmm. you know, you, you, you did like primarily your new stuff. You yep. did a little bit of a bit of the old JLS. Yes, exactly. Um, I mean, what what kind of are your favourite songs to? Which is there a particular song that's your favourite to perform for the, for the crowd? Um, I mean the JLS stuff's obviously it's always good to kind of kick back and do some old school stuff do you know what yeah. I mean it just gets the I suppose the rapport going a little bit more and everyone kind of you could see the crowd just got a little more comfortable and was just a bit oh, okay cool we're in it now yeah. um, but in terms of my songs I think it's stuff like the funky stuff's always good like the sweats and yeah. show me and distraction like the show opener and stuff like that all the kind of the high energy stuff I do love to do do you know what I mean where yeah. I can actually do a whole full out routine and be singing at the same time do you know what I mean yeah. that's always more fun for me I think so yeah. I enjoy that stuff more yeah I mean I, I couldn't believe like I'm, I'm amazed the moves you can still like you're pulling off out there on that stage oh mate I've still got a couple left do you know what I mean I'm still <laughs> I'm still come, going do you, come, do you come on stage and you're like I, mean, I, I hear that you were stretching downstairs and everything yeah, mate, it, honestly it, it is it is basically an hour and a half of cardio yeah. do you know what I mean it's yeah. a bit like you have to stretch and then you have to do like a vocal warm down and it's like if you go on outside they're like cover your neck make sure and he's just like all right cool yeah but it's um yeah it's, i think it's just like anything like an athlete you would never expect an athlete not to stretch before and after yeah, yeah. like yeah. A, it's you know what i mean a game yeah. you know what i mean what a football game whatever it may be yeah. or, you know you need the cool down process and it's just the same for you know myself and dancers and stuff because we're just throwing ourselves around and it's a bit like it's harder than it looks. Yeah, well, <laughs> you know I mean? yeah you're making it yeah. look easy. And, and obviously on the um, on this Precious EP, you, mm -hmm. you worked with Shy Carter. Yes. Um, what, what was that? How did that come about? What, what, was, what happened there? Sure, it was. It was. Um, I normally try and go to LA uh, at the start of every year, just a couple of months out of the year, when the industry is quite quiet and as soon as it starts to build back up, a lot of the writers will be in. I suppose writers, producers, artists, and everyone will be in LA just for that Grammy season. Yeah. So I was over there just one year and met up with a few of Shy's people and um, they were like, oh, we want to introduce you to this guy. He's an amazing writer and artist. And I was like, okay, cool. You're always up for writing in sessions and meeting new people. And uh, it was literally just a random one, really. We was just like, yeah, it'd be great to kind of work and, you know, see what we can come out with. And, you know, when we, uh, myself and the team heard Precious, we was just like, this is 
an amazing song. Yeah. So do you know what I mean? We yeah. recorded that song and got writing more stuff and you just start building a relationship. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. You're, you're kind of confined in a room like this for uh, like hours on end and it's a bit like you'll either click or you won't. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's, yeah, it's, yeah. it's as simple as that really. Yeah. It's about, are we on the same wavelength? Yes or no? And it's, yeah. you know, luckily enough we were and um, yeah, it was, you know, so great of him to fly over from, yeah, you know, awesome. California just for these shows. So that was, uh, yeah, yeah, it was great. Um, I mean, because you hear about some artists, they go, they like lock themselves in a hut in the middle of nowhere or something mm -hmm. when they're writing. Is that your style? Or you, do you like to, you know, you're, you're in LA and you just like to sort of... I mean, if you've... I suppose if you've been through something that might be good so you can focus on that and yeah. really pull from that but yeah. I kind of like just to be somewhere whether it be busy or whether it be I suppose somewhat you know it could be on location in terms of like beach or where just something that yeah. is going to inspire you a little yeah. bit and not something that's you know like I said you're just locked in a dungeon I don't, I don't really feel like there's any inspiration there do you know yeah. what I mean I'd rather yeah. be like I don't know you can go on a hike through the hills or something yeah. like that and just next minute be in a city and then be on a beat you know whatever it may be it's just different scenarios yeah. and surroundings can just provide different inspiration you know yeah, mm. yeah. and also I, mean, I wanted to ask um you, you told a little story about um about how the, the song fresh come about yeah is that that's all true is it yeah 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 just shy literally wrote it for um his wife to be at the time and it was like it was their wedding song Wow. Yeah, do you know what I mean? It's like yeah. this, this famous songwriter that works with amazing artists across the globe wrote his wife a song for their wedding and it was a bit like, he's had artists over the years go, can I, can I have the song? We love yeah. the song, whatever. Yeah. And like I said, we clicked and he was just like, yo, you should try this song that I wrote. Awesome. And he told me the story and I was a bit like, okay, yeah. that's... Yeah. <laughs> We, oh, we, really? we're actually trying to, trying to we, we, have a, we like to pretend we're sort of a, a, little, a little dance troupe when we go out on a night out yeah. Yeah. Oh, really? yeah. just, to give, just to give you some just to give you some context we just finished our, our European tour oh really yeah. European yeah. tour I love yeah. that yeah. well you know it was one stop we just went mad <laughs> we went mad for a week we had a we had a it's we had into a, Europe it's we fine we night out so we decided to go to the Backstreet Boys 90s theme and, um, just the three of you. Just the three of us. Yeah. So, so we, we've already, we want, I was already uh, angry about that. We need we need to sign yeah, all yeah, members. Yeah, just yeah, yeah, it's, we need to go you know, you know the industry. You can't just yeah. accept anyone. Yeah, exactly. But we were but after we after a few tips <laughs> because you know we think we're we think we're the next big thing. But having you know you've been in one of the biggest bands. Yeah. And, uh, you know in the UK and you know I was after some tips because you know we had the dance moves we had the dance moves down we struggled a bit at the singing but you know yeah. <laughs> <laughs> dancing wise we were fantastic. <laughs> I mean, in terms of tips, you, don't, you know, you just, I suppose if you're going to do Backstreet Boys, you probably just need two more members. That's, <laughs> that's all I can say. It's a good point. And then, and then you're sorted. I wouldn't really worry about the rest. Get the dance moves down. Magaluf, just a couple of body shots and stuff. Just, you know, go on the strip, have a little look, see yeah. who's about, and just, yeah, just throw some moves down. I'm sure you'll be fine. Yeah, uh, yeah mate. Video's proven. <laughs> <laughs> we um before before we came in tonight we had a, we had a little look at your Wikipedia page which yeah, is always dangerous. Oh wow, uh, okay. We we're, were going to do a bit of myth busting. Yes. Um, Harry, Harry's got a good one. So one mm. thing that we found was that um, you auditioned for JLS and you got the part due to your superior intellect and your skills with knives. That's a direct quote. <laughs> <laughs> that's what it says on Wikipedia. Are you serious? Yeah. yeah. I mean. I mean, someone's probably changed that because yeah. that's not. <laughs> Some out there. I think so, yeah. Superior skills of not okay, that's I mean, I mean go with it. I'm sorry. I mean <laughs> that's what it takes to be in a boy band, guys. There's the yeah, there's yeah. there's the I, tips, I, I right? Injured. There you I go. Have, like, like incredible chopping skills. <laughs> there you go, mate. I'm yeah. in that yeah. game. Oh, yeah. I'm all over it, but yeah, that's uh, oh, uh, so we, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. not sure about this one. And this one, apparently, you know, playing Google, apparently you're, you're contractually obliged to do a backflip every single show. <laughs> that can't be true. <laughs> I'm definitely not contractually obliged, no. I think that's just more along the lines of going, okay, just do a couple of tricks. Uh, yeah, no, not contract-wise, no. <laughs> there you go, exactly, knives yeah. and flips, there we go. And, and the other thing I was wondering, um, <laughs> you often hear, like, when artists are on tour, they have, like, incredible requests for their rider. Mm -hmm. Um, what what do you have on your rider? You ask like some people ask for white goods for fridges and stuff like that. Like, is there anything like do that? you know what? I'm actually the total opposite to that, and I'll tell you why. Basically, I say I one thing I say is just no white towels. No white towels. No white towels. I'll tell you why. So basically, you saw on stage all the different lighting effects and stuff like that, yeah. and that blue light, the kind of UV light that comes on, 
so you can imagine if I had a white towel in my hand and I just went, started dabbing and whatever else. You stand into, I've done it before, you stand into this light, then you've just basically got this white fluff <laughs> oh. all across your face and it is, like photographer, photographer, <laughs> photographers have a field day because you're just like, oh. Yeah. And it just looks, yeah, it just looks. Oh, wow. So that's the only thing I kind of, it, Oh, we're going out yeah. down in the union. See? So um so the uh the, the final leg of the tour is, is tomorrow night yep. in London. Um what what's what's next for us and Mary Law then after that? What, what's gonna happen? Uh the next thing is a couple of um I think like radio shows and summer shows over the next couple of months, um, off into Europe to f obviously follow you guys, follow yeah. you guys' footsteps, yeah. off into yeah. Europe. Yeah. Exactly, all over it. Um, yeah, just a couple of shows in Europe, um, back over to the States, Australia, just, yeah, just, you know, getting the music out there, getting the precious vibes out there. Brand new music coming as well for the summer, yeah. um, more videos, um, a couple of projects like online stuff and, um, and I'm like a new movie and stuff that's coming out towards the end of the year, which is great. It's called Boogie Man. Um, yeah, loads, loads on the horizon, which is yeah. great. So it's a yeah, it's a busy, busy, been a busy start to the year. So, you know, hopefully it continues. Well, we love the new music. We really enjoy the show tonight. It's been great fun. Thank, thank you. Very much. No, thank you guys. Cheers.